Well, the B.C. government is making noises about legislating an end to the teachers' strike and took what may be the first step towards doing that today. The Labour Minister has appointed her deputy as a fact-finder in the dispute to report back in two weeks if a negotiated settlement is still possible. If it is not, legislation is the likely next step. But as the province digs in, the teachers push back. CTV's Aaron Glazier reports. It's from homework, you know what's going on. After months of talks with teachers, the B.C. government may be getting ready to draw a chalk line on the board. Today, a fact finder was appointed to see if a negotiated settlement can be reached between the teachers' union and the province's bargaining agent. We'll, we'll look forward to, to the advice of the fact finder, and based on that, we will, we will assess our options in terms of uh, how, to, how to move on this, uh, because it's not acceptable for me to see this drag on through the entire school year. Teachers say the fact finder is nothing more than an in-house ministry employee. They say they've maintained their end of the deal and want the province to do the same. We've shown that we're willing to negotiate. We've shown that we're willing to take the step that takes us down the road to compromise. But what must happen now is government must recipro reciprocate. What's the one thing we all have in common in this up until this point, teachers have taken limited strike action by not writing report cards and refusing to do administrative duties. But if a deal is not reached within the next two weeks, the province says it may legislate them back to work. The teachers' union says it will tell its members to walk off the job if that happens. A scary thought for parents. I'd really rather they didn't. Do I support it? Um, I want what's right for teachers too. I'm a teacher as well. So... Um, yeah, again, tough question to answer. Teachers are asking for smaller class sizes and a 15% wage increase over three years to bring them in line with other teachers across the country. But Abbott says that won't happen due to the government's net zero wage policy. As the evidence suggests, uh, there is not a disposition on the part of uh, uh, the BC Teachers Federation to, to move to a settlement based on net zero. Uh, then we should understand that and, uh, and, and make appropriate decisions to deal with it. The ministry's fact the finder has until February 23rd to figure out if a deal between the two sides can be reached at the table. Until then, the teachers' union says it is holding out hope. To be a teacher, you have to be an optimist. I'm willing to act like a teacher in this situation as well. Leaving parents and students waiting for the stalemate to end. Aaron Glazier, CTV News.